Hello everybody, happy Thursday. It is Brooke with Refab, and today is day two of Patriotic Palooza. Um, and I am gonna be making a very simple craft today, okay? Yesterday's craft, if you didn't watch it, go watch day one. It was very cute um, and it was very quick. Today's craft is gonna be just as quick and hopefully just as cute, um, but we will see how that turns out. You never know. <laughs> In my mind, it's cute, but we'll see what it actually turns out like. So, if you do not remember, we're going to pin the comment um, to go back and look at the giveaway that we're doing for all the Patriotic Palooza. I showed y'all a live that had so many items that I'm actually giving away to somebody, okay? And I told you all the details of how to win in that live and showed you every single item that's being given away this weekend on Saturday where I'm drawing a winner. So, if you um, did not see that, go catch that. We've got it pinned in the comments. It says, all patriotic palooza giveaway something at the bottom. And so, you can go check that out. Now, I will say this. It's all about your engagement. It's all about how much you comment and how much you... Um, sprinkle the videos and talk to me and all that kind of stuff that helps me more than anything because to be honest facebook just does not share our content very often at all with our followers and so anything you can do to help it's worth me giving back because that helps so much and i love 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 anybody who knows me knows this i've been doing this since the very beginning when i started this page love to give away stuff for christmas parties here at work um, for all my employees, like I'm constantly giving stuff. I do game prizes. I give gifts. Like I just like that. So I love to do that here too. So this is going to be a great, um, giveaway today. And I got good news that I want to share with y'all too. My paintbrushes are now back in stock. Okay. I've been waiting forever. They came back in stock. You can comment the word Raffia, R-A-F-F-I-A, in the comments, and we will send you a link to my branded items, which will take you right to the paintbrushes. But they literally um, have been sold out for, what, I don't know, forever. We've just been waiting and waiting to get those back, and we finally got them in today. So you need to grab them up while they're available, because um, they seem to go fast. So that's all for that. Now... I'm going to paint today. I told you it was going to be really quick. I found this at Dollar Tree. Okay, this is from Dollar Tree. It's got um, the little hanger on it, the little, um, oh, whatever these are, wood bead hangers. And then it's kind of got the, I don't know, kind of a shiplap look, wooden. Um, and I like this. It's a good little size. So I thought, well, I'll just use that today. Um, and I'm going to paint it white. And then I'm going to go over it with um red paint and blue paint and i'm gonna paint 1776 on it and if you do not know what 1776 is that's the year that we became a free country that's that's when um our independence was established so um 1776 has a lot of meaning for this so that's what we're gonna do today Hopefully, it's cute. We may add some frill to it. I've got ribbon just in case. I've got some fabric just in case. So, we're going to kind of see where it goes, and we'll just get started right now, right now. Be, just comment Raffia if you are um, wanting to get some of my uh, paintbrushes because they are back in stock finally. So, I just don't want you to miss out on them. I've been telling you, a lot of y'all were on the wait list, and you already grabbed some up because you got the notification that they were in stock, but some of y'all, a lot of y'all weren't, so you may not have heard, even though I made a post and stuff. It's very, it's just, this is the way social media is. Just because you follow a page does not mean that you will see their stuff. It's all about how much you engage with that page, and so that's why I just always encourage y'all to really engage because it really helps a lot, and if you like seeing what I'm doing then that's the way to see it more it's just to engage and thank you so much um for the hair compliment i finally got it done i went 11 weeks without getting it done 11 weeks and i usually go six so i went double the time because i was trying to get it done right before our trip because i knew we were going to be gone a while and i didn't want to have to 
worry about it. I wasn't going to do it on the trip, but I just didn't want it to look bad while I was there. So I just let it look bad before I got there. And I finally got it done today and it took a while, but it was so worth it. I needed it so bad. That's just one of the things when you're not really naturally blonde anymore. Um, I was growing up, but it slowly got darker over time and I just still like being a blonde. So I get it colored. So there you go. Um, greetings from Michigan. Hello, Vicki. I love your state. As you know, it's a beautiful place. I've been a couple times now and just really, really, really like it. So yeah, tell me where y'all are coming from. I always love to hear where everybody is coming from. Like whether you've been around forever or you're brand new, I like to hear that too. And then I just always like to hear where everybody's coming from. If you're in the U.S., tell me what state. Um, if you are not in the U.S., tell me what country. Like, I just love to hear because we've got people all over the place. And it is really, really fun um, to see the variety of people and places that show up on lives and on replays. So, you might be watching this on the replay. Just say replay um, when that time comes if you are on the replay. And then um, I'll know that you're watching and tell me where you're coming from, too. Tina is in Kentucky. I'm fond of that state. I am pretty fond of it, being I live here. So I'm painting the sides. I'm just painting it white right now, this whole thing white. And I'm just trying to get the sides. This is gonna be a very quick craft, and it's really just a painting craft. I'm just gonna paint this white, and then I'm going to um, paint 1776 on it. But I really wanted to paint the sides because I really think it's going to have a lot more finished look if I paint the sides. So I'm just going to get that done. And then it won't take long for it to dry. I won't even have to do anything. It's just kind of drying on its own. And then I can just start with the blue and the red paint. So this is just snow white or just white actually apple barrel acrylic paint from Walmart. And then I'm going to be using Admiral Blue and I'm going to be using Firehouse from Afraid Not. But you can, if you don't have any Afraid Not paint, I really love her paint. But if you don't have any, you can use like Crimson Red or Cardinal or whatever, any kind of red paint. Got one more side to go. And thank you for the shirt compliments. It is from the boutique. And I guess it's... Um, I don't know, it's new, but I, I guess it's already come out. I don't know if I got it early or if it's already out. I'm really not sure, but it is from the boutique and it's super cute. Kylie's gonna find out and look. I am going to France and Italy. You'll have to watch my update video that I did a couple days ago. Um, I can't see who asked that, but that is, I kind of gave an update on packing and all the stuff it was just a just a random live that i decided to do to kind of update y'all and some things going on and so you'll have to check that out all right it's a beautiful white as you can see i've got it on a little dollar tree tin so that i don't um so that i don't mess up my tablecloth oh it's sold out the shirt is sold out it's not it was like a week ago or something so yeah it's sold out. Okay, so I think I'm going to go ahead and start with the Admiral Blue. I'm just going to squirt it over here on my little plate. I should have shaken it up because it's kind of wild looking on my plate. It looks marbled because I didn't shake it up. Listen, okay, so all I'm going to do is paint the numbers 1776. Now, that sounds easy enough, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes, okay? <laughs> oh gosh, what? I am going ahead and I want it to look kind of fun and whimsy. I've got my thick paintbrush or my pretty thick one. It's like this, whatever size this is. Um, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm trying to decide if I want to do it all in blue and do red accents or do blue, red, blue, red which was my original idea. I think I'm actually gonna do all blue because I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna go for all blue. So definitely make sure that y'all are sh sprinkling. I don't wanna get, <laughs> get Facebook gelled. Um, this video. 
I got to do a skinny seven, okay? Because um, this board is kind of skinny. I am brave. I'm a brave woman, Floyd. I'm wearing this white shirt. I actually thought that when I... I got to make a really skinny seven over here to have room for my six. Ooh. Come on, little skinny seven. Oh, shoot. This is fun. This blue shows up really good on the white, though. Let's just hope it don't show up on my white shirt. But I always paint in nice clothes. If y'all been following me any length of time, you know, whether it's nice clothes or not, like, I'm always just painting whatever I've got on. So, it's what, it just is what it is. Okay, I'm going to do the six. It's going to have to be a kind of skinny six, too. That turned out. That turned out. Hold on. Let me. Whew. I don't know why. Get a tad bit nervous. It's just paint. I could always paint back over it, but the white will not cover the blue near as easy as the blue covers the white. Okay, so this is what it looks like so far. It is not backwards. It is just this because I don't have it turned around. Let me turn it around real quick so that you can see. Uh, let me get it. Hold on. Doo -doo. All right. I'm going to be, you know me so well, Brenda. She said, are you going to polka dot some of these? Of course. I'm going to do something. I'm going to add like some stripes and polka dots. But look how fun that is. And I'm just leaving these the same and then I'm going to add a bow. Okay. I'm just going to do that because that sounds amazing. So, I'm gonna get a little thinner paintbrush. And I am going to get my white paint that's already over here and go ahead and make some polka dots. And here's the deal. I'm not worried about, so I'm gonna do polka dots on the one and the seven. The, fir the first one, only one, and then the second seven. And I'm gonna tell you what, I am not gonna worry about this blue paint drying because it will be cute if it's light blue. Like, it's okay if it doesn't look totally white. It's, it's gonna be really cute, just light blue, if it blends a little bit. So I'm not worried about that. Cause I actually really like, like an Admiral blue like this, like a Royal or Navy mixed with um, some light blue. I think it's a really pretty color combo. So. Not too worried about that. Gotta concentrate, y'all. Can't be entertaining. <laughs> oh, yes. Y'all know polka dots make everything better. I need a shirt that says that. Polka dots make everything better. Look how cute this is, y'all. Seriously. And I'm gonna do the seven the same way. Look at that. Oh, my that is so cute. It's just a little Dollar Tree sign. And if you don't want it to hang like that, you can cut that off. Um, I don't really know that I need it. I'm just going to leave it on there because I don't have any reason to take it off yet. But um, this is probably not going to be hanging. It's probably something I'll just like set on a coffee bar or something. But it's something I can easily remove. Okay. I'm just doing half circles. Uh, kind of along the edges because these letters are, I mean, these numbers are kind of skinny, so I don't really need, um, like, full-blown polka dots. I do need to add a little more white because it's just getting a little too blue just to lighten it up a little. And then I can always go back if I want to after it dries and add, like, highlights and stuff. So make sure y'all are sprinkling this video. Make sure you're talking to me in the comments. Because that's how you win the Patriotic Palooza giveaway. Love polka dots and you make the best freehand dots. Oh, thank you. You're amazing. Okay. That turned out bad. Let me redo that. Okay. Let's show you the seven. 
And then we will go over the other seven. Look how cute that is. And I tell you what, I can, I got an idea, but just let me finish because I'm already, I got another idea, but let's finish this first before we get too crazy. Um, all right. I'm going to add some red, but here's the problem. We're just going to see what the red looks like. Sometimes red doesn't cover blue very well. So I can't guarantee that this is going to look good, but you know, I can guarantee that I will give it a try. But it does need red. Now, obviously I have some cute red ribbon, but okay. I wanted to do, let me think here. This is what I'm wanting to do and one, this is what I am going to do. I'm going to use the back part of this paintbrush to do little dots around the seven. Instead of on the seven. That way I'm not worried about it standing out on the blue. I'm just kind of doing it around it. Does that make sense? These make the best little dots. Just the back of your paintbrush, dip plenty of paint, barely dabbing, barely dotting it. So we're still doing dots, or a different take on dots, and they're just outlining the seven. And we'll see what we do on the six. I haven't decided yet. Something with red, though. Plenty. What do y'all think about this? Thank you. This is going to be really cute. I'm I'm going I'm just here to just tell you that this is cuter than I thought it would be. I thought it would be cute or I wouldn't be trying to do it, but it's actually cuter than I anticipated because I wasn't originally planning all this extra stuff. Should have known I'd want to add all the extras, but originally I just I don't know, wasn't even thinking about it. So I'm almost done with this seven, just a few more dots. I think this was the right move for this because this is very cute. And I will show you as soon as I'm done with this seven what it's looking like and then we will go on to the six. We will make our bow and we will see the finished product. I can get about three dots in before I have to replenish my paint. All right. Oh, me. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling you. I'm telling you it's cute. Look at this, y'all. I hope this looks cute to y'all. It's cute here. I hope it's showing up online because it's pretty cute. And I am going to go back and add. Oh, I just got this on my face, I think. I don't know if you can tell. Anyway, I'm going to go back and add a little bit of white highlights to these blue ones in a little bit. But I'm going to let it kind of dry more and I'm going to go ahead and do the, the six. I don't know what I'm going to do just yet. I mean, I guess I could do the same exact thing. I probably should in case I do something stupid. And I'm like, oh, why did I do that? And I messed it up. And that way it stays consistent. So we'll just do the same exact thing. And then once we add our bow and our highlights, we are cooking with gas. Like I said, I get about two or three dabs and then it's time to, oh, I got four. I got five that time. I got a good one that time for sure. I think sometimes I put more paint on than others. I think that's the deal. So tell me what y'all are doing this weekend. It's already Thursday, so tomorrow's Friday. And I bet there's not a soul out there that can't say that they're glad of that. Tomorrow we're having a shower for one of our girls at the boutique, Kelsey. She, we're having a little baby shower for her. That's going to be fun. That's always fun. She does know about it, so it's not a surprise. Um, so we get to spend some time together at lunch tomorrow. Everybody does. And then... I don't know. What all do y'all have going on? Thank you. I don't know where I'm going to put this sign. I'm really just doing all these for fun. I really have no place for them, so I'm really not sure. I might, um, I'm getting ready to go out, out of the country 
for a month. So, um, anyway, I don't know. I might put them on my coffee bar and try to do a patriotic coffee bar before I leave and can show y'all all the stuff that I make this week and that I've made on the blog recently that's patriotic all displayed on my coffee bar. Would y'all even enjoy seeing that? Um, just let me know and it'll help me know if I, if maybe that's even something you are interested in. But even if I don't do it this year, I'll have them on standby for next year. Okay, so here is this and then I'm going to do some highlights on this one and then we're going to do a bow. So, look at this, y'all. Oh, my gosh. Mother's Day dinner. Getting together with your kids and grandkids. Sounds like a lot of family time for everybody, which is absolutely amazing. Hmm. What did I do? Well, um, I was looking for that tulip paint that's, you know. I thought I had it in here, though, but maybe I saw it in there. Maybe that's where I saw it. I don't have to have that, but that would probably be good. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my highlights with the tulip paint, I think, because it'll just help it stand out just a little bit more. Um, I'm just gonna do it around the half circles, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do a bow. But I tell you what, I'm gonna put it here, right here, let it dry just a tiny bit more, and I'm gonna go ahead and make my bow real quick. That way, um, you know, while I'm waiting for that, and while I'm waiting for that to dry, I can do the bow. Thank you. Okay, so I have this polka dot ribbon. I have this polka dot ribbon. I have this burlap. And I have, what do I have? Um, I actually have a little bit of fabric. So I have like a random fabric, which I think would be really pretty to cut up too and put in my bow. So we're going to make a bow. Um, oh, let me see. I got some other stuff too, I think. Hold on. Y'all just hang tight. Hold on. I also have this red, white, and blue that I'm going to add in. All right. That's what we're going to do. So, let's get this party started. Um, I'm like, I got it like a mess going on right here. What did I do with my scissors? Here they are hiding under this. Okay. So, I just need to cut a few pieces. You know, I don't measure anything. We just cut and go. Okay. I'm going to cut two pieces of each one. I'll trim them up later if I need to. I'm going to cut three of this because I'm going to use one to tie it in the middle. I used like to use the skinny ribbon to tie in the middle. All right. Oh, yeah. I forgot. I said I was going to use the fabric. Okay. This fabric, I think it'll look good. We'll, we'll give it a try. I don't really know. I think it'll look good, though. Oh, yeah, you did. You did great on that. Yeah. Blaze wants to show you something he drew in a restaurant real quick. We were at a fish grill, and I had the drawing paper on the counter, and I drew a mahi-mahi. Oh, wait, it's not on there. There, now it is. Isn't that amazing, y'all? You thought Eden was the one with all the artistic talent, but he drew that mahi-mahi, and I thought he did awesome. I took a knife and just cut it out of the table. He just cut it out of the table. Now, it was... You could draw on the paper. It was at Bonefish Grill. I don't know if you've ever eaten there. It was okay to do that. Okay, so let's go. Um, let's make a refab bow. This is when you just crisscross them. You just keep crisscrossing all of your fabrics, all of your ribbons, all the things. Just that's actually the one I want to use to that. And then um, you literally do this just like I'm doing. Okay, so we did our crisscross. We got this little crisscross going on. You're going to put your skinny piece in the middle, cover it across, and then tie it in the back as tight as you can so that it comes together in a bow. Okay, that's all you do. Now, I like to use wired ribbon for this. I don't have any right here with me. So, they're all saying you're talented and that's a good fish, Blaze. All right. Okay, here's my little 
refab rag bow. Just a little old, you know, just a fun little bow. So cute. Okay, now let's hold it to the side. Let's come back to our 1776 here. And um, we're going to go ahead and just use this real quick. We're going to use our tulip paint. It's our tulip slip paint. And that is what we're going to use as long as it'll come out good. Mm, that one's not wanting to come out good. Hold on. If it don't come out good, I'm just going to use regular white paint. But, oh, what's this? Hang tight. I don't know what's going on with my tulip paint. What? Well, this one's like this. For some reason, it has no top. I don't know what happened with this one. So, let me see about if I can get this one to open. That gum. Okay, we're not doing that. That's not working. Okay, so I will use white paint. I'm going to put it on my skinny little brush. And just kind of... I'm gonna add a highlight to each one. I'm kind of just doing a little half circle kind of on the outside. This would have been better using that, but it's it's not that bad. You can still see what I'm doing, like it's still showing up. It's just not as seamless. It kind of looks a little janky, but not too bad. It's the Key is not to be thinking too hard about it, and I kind of was, but now I'm kind of in a groove. I was kind of thinking about it a little too much, but now it's done. So, ta-da! Isn't that cute, y'all? Oh my gosh, that is so adorable. Switch lids. Why didn't I think of that, Lisa? That's what I was trying to remember. <laughs> but that's okay. I got it. Well, I've got this, so we're good. <laughs> I don't know why. Never even crossed my mind. Okay, so now we're going to add the bow, which here's what I'm a little nervous about because this is still kind of wet. So, I don't know if I need to add the bow. Actually, I'm going to add it. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. What I wanted to do was add it like, hold on, like right here, like on, but I'm just going to add it to the top of this because it's going to bleed with that red. The red dots are still kind of, they're still really wet. So, I don't want to do that, actually. So, I'm doing this to try not to get it on my red. Please don't. I know I could wait. I know I could wait till after this live is over. But I'm impatient. And I want to see it all come together. So, I'm doing it now. And I'm tying it on the string. Oh, that's cute. Okay, here we are. You're just gonna have to kind of visualize this a little bit. But look how cute this turned out. And we're gonna pretend that this is laying flat and that it's got all the prettiness laying flat. Hold on, it's like going crazy on me. But anyway, pretend the bow is laying flat because I'm actually gonna kind of do it down. But look how cute this turned out, y'all. I really like this. Do y'all like this? Oh my gosh, this turned out so cute. And you really don't see a lot of 1776 crafts. And I've never done one. I always do USA or stars or flags, which are great. But I thought this would be super cute. And it is. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay, when I'm going to actually post it later once I've got the bow where I want it. I will show y'all an after picture and it's going to go on the blog anyway. And so you'll be able to see it on there too. But I think it's so cute. I'm proud of this one. This was Patriotic Palooza Day 2. And be sure to comment, share all the good things, like, give hearts, whatever you want to do. Tell me you shared it if you did, um, or we like to call it sprinkled around here. And um, on Saturday, I'm going to pick a winner for my big Patriotic Palooza giveaway, which has lots of good stuff. If you have not seen it, you need to check out the link in the bottom um, of this post. Um, of this live and you can go see all the items that I am giving away to somebody so it's going to be super fun tomorrow is patriotic palooza day three we're doing another um patriotic craft I don't know what it is yet so I can't give you a hint but it will be something cute and fun so thanks for joining me um and thanks for being here as always y'all are absolutely amazing and I appreciate you more than you know thanks guys